Hi guys, I'm Martin88 and welcome to another FIFA 20 Squad Battles video. Today we are looking at the art of defending and particularly against ultimate difficulty. However, I'm hoping everything that will be in this video uh, will help you against any um, difficulty level. Okay, but before we jump into that, a couple of things I just wanted to talk about quickly. First of all, massive thanks to everybody that supported the channel um, so far. I know we've only been going for uh, just under a month now, but I've been overwhelmed should we say with the views that i've been getting on some of my videos and i just wanted to say if you are one of the people that's been watching the videos and you haven't subscribed yet it would mean the world to me if you would just hit that subscribe button and um, because if you have liked what you've seen and it has helped you so far um don't want to be missing out on content that's going to be coming out and um, particularly across the start of fifa 21 and I know that it has helped a lot of you guys because I've had some really nice um, messages come through on Xbox. So if you're one of them people, um, massive thanks to you. Okay. Just wanted to remind you as well what is already up on the channel. <clears throat> um, obviously, we've got the rewards every week, but we've got ultimate gameplay against the... Um, against a low chemistry team we've also got the gameplay against the high chemistry team and the attacking um, tutorial and obviously today we have the defensive one so that will be it in terms of um, tutorials so to speak for this FIFA <coughs> and we'll just wait now for the for the new FIFA to come out before any content like that comes out in the meantime I'll just be having some fun I'm probably going to end up playing with uh, a bronze and a silver team and see how we get on and just have a bit of fun but today guys with the defensive tutorial um, I've broken it up into five different segments um, for you um, which you're about to see um, coming up they're all ultimate gameplay highlights so let's get into it Guys, first segment is about pushing the AI out wide. You've probably all heard this, that's because the AI is more effective going through the middle than it is out wide. So, what we need to do is every opportunity is just push them out wide. In these few clips, I don't want you to worry about how we get the ball off them. We'll cover that a little bit later on. But what I want you to see here is always get the full back, and I'm literally just showing them acres and acres of space out wide enough space so that I know I can get back at them and then deal with them out wide almost really tuck the full backs in so they're nearly standing next to the center half so the AI will just think oh there's loads of space down there let's run down there perfect that's exactly what we're after look another clip here I actually make a mistake here pulling my full back forward too much because I'm chasing some goals but Rectify that, Marcel Desai just jockey him out wide. Players get back into position and they will not deal with it from a wide position rather than the AI going through the middle where they're really, really dangerous. Very difficult to stop them once they start going through the middle. Next clip again. Alexander Arnold's gone past Rio there to show him the outside and they start attacking down the wing. Allows us to get the ball off them and we start attacking again. Okay, so we've pushed them out wide, then what do we want to do? We need to get the ball off them. Well, these clips are showing you 1v1 defending. Now, once you've pushed them out wide, I sort of I jockey them and then just wait for that opportune moment to take the ball off of them. And it's normally at some point they will just push the ball a little bit too far ahead of them and that's your time to pounce or like there they'll cross and you can block it. Let's have a look at this one. <laughs> so we've gone inside, forced them out wide. Then we get over to, to Mane here and we're literally, yeah, there you go. There's the heavy touch. Take the ball off of them and we start our attack. It's literally as simple as that, guys. But you've got to repeat it time after time after time. Here we go again. Down the wing. We're jockeying, jockeying. Play it back to the fullback. Keep it with Alexander-Arnold. I basically want Ronaldo to go away there. But we win the ball back. And then we start an attack. And I think we end up scoring a goal from here. It just shows you how you can just get attack from defence very, very easily by just doing really simple things. Again, Alexander-Arnold. He's in like 90% of these clips. You're just keeping him highlighted. Don't want anyone else highlighted. 
heavy touch to take the ball off them. One of the other reasons why you just want the fullback highlighted is because of their defensive stats, obviously. Okay, but that's the 1v1 defending. Just wait for the heavy. Okay, next step. So we've pushed them out wide. We've shown you how to take the ball off them. But there are going to be occasions where the AI will just get their cross in. So let's have a quick look at how we deal with those crosses. You need to be careful because a lot of the time people will just try and head it out of the box aimlessly and it'll just fall to one of their players. You see here from my clips, if possible, I try and just head it back to the keeper and just start again. I'm not looking for attack, it's all about the defence. Let's have a look at another one here. So come down the line, they put an early cross in, straight back to the keeper. Looks really simple, but you know. One time where you just try and nod it down to your, midf your midfielder, they'll just nip in first and they've got a shot from 12, 15 yards. It's not what you want. But I think another example here, cross just going in, simple one back to the keeper. I know it's, it's repetitive, but it's what you need to be doing, okay? Right, the next thing, which is very important is holding the position as soon as you take someone out of position it would all just fall apart so you saw there Rio was highlighted instantly told him to go away leave it straight to Alexander Arnold because when Alden would have gone to centre back and he then wouldn't have picked up that rebound and they would have had possession of the ball and would have started attacking at us this is another one here. There's numerous players come over to help Alexander Arnold. Keep him highlighted. Tell them to go away because as soon as they're pulled out of position, you've got a problem. You see here, if we hadn't have had Alexander Arnold, the two centre halves wouldn't have been in position to pick up that loose ball. Okay? Another one. This is this is a better clip. Ball over the top. Every a lot of people would have stuck with the centre half there. But you've got to go with the fullback because the ball comes in there, it's three against three. If not, it would have been two against three. They probably would have put a good ball in and scored. Okay? Right. Fifth segment is sometimes they just won't go out wide. So you need to keep the defence narrow. Okay? And even with pushing them out wide the way to do that is by keeping the the defense narrow so you're again this is kind of like pushing them out wide but just a little bit different this is down to the ai's mentality i call it when they're on ones so we see here coming through the middle i've got trent in almost like a defensive midfielder position because eventually we just crowd them out through people there's no use having a load bodies out wide and no one through the middle because we'll just get carved open okay next clip is how it should look once it's all pieced together so this goal here I feel has a little bit of everything of what we've discussed over the last few weeks good defending we've pushed them out wide wait for that opportune moment to take the ball off of them then we build our attack really quick passing to get us out of trouble take half of their team out of the game create the space as we do here with Rafa create the space again with our main man the Predator Aguero and there's our 5-0 job done so that's what we're looking to do guys if you can if you can try and follow that you're not going to be far away from a top 100 finish okay so let's just have a quick recap of what we've seen today on the defending video we've looked to see how to push players out wide we've had a look at how to defend one-on-one -on -one. we've looked at how to defend um, the crosses we've looked at uh, using a narrow defense and um, to stop them coming through the middle and We've had a look at how to keep the players in the position and why that's important, okay? So if you want to have a recap on any of that, just whiz back and have a little look, okay? Looks like we might be playing with a Rangers team this week. Fake Chow messaged me the other night, said he's on course for the top 100, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not doing too badly, probably looking at a top 10 finish, so should have some good rewards for Monday. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen today, guys, drop a like. If you want to know anything more, leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on Monday.